All right. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. So, guys, it's been a while. We've been gone. Uh, we're coming back. This is show number nine on Mong Hustlers. My name is Chai, and we got a special guest, a nice, nice guest that, you know, we've been waiting. I've been waiting to talk to you. So, without further ado, oh, on the show, uh, you got those of you guys who's joined who doesn't know anything about the show, we talk about money, right? We talk about how to make money, how to save money, and how to multiply money. So, uh, this show, we're probably going to talk about how to multiply your money, right? So Real fast, um, real fast. Real fast with, with a real life Mo Millionaire. Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to admit it, but we know. We all know. All right? So, thanks you guys for joining. Uh, comment, like, if you guys can share it. Uh, let other people know. We're just, we're just sharing information out. Um, everything we talk about today is all about uh size experience uh, with what he know um we're not considered professionals but you know we we do what we do and we make money with it so yeah, you make money today, you're professional man <laughs> <laughs> we didn't we didn't go to school for it right that's, oh yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah, of what yeah. we're saying right a degree no 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 degree <laughs> so yeah. so yeah yeah we didn't go to school for it but so you know this is we're talking about ideas, right? And this is yeah. this is size stuff that he done, and this is what makes him become some, you know, a millionaire. So, here we go. So, uh, thanks, guy, for for being on the show. Yeah, no problem. Hey, all right. So, um, uh, let's start out here, man. The um, there, the first question, right, is like, how did you accumulate your wealth? And and let's let's stick to a particular topic, right? Because how, 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 I guess, how did you get started? What made, what made you become a millionaire, I guess, or, okay, uh, we can kind yeah. of go from there, right? All right. So, um, or just the background. Now, let's, yeah. let's do this. Let's do an intro because I need okay. an intro. Okay. Because okay. you, you got a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so let, let, let's, you know, I, I done some artwork. I done some politics. Uh, so we won't even talk about that. Because that's like two lifetimes ago. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll do we'll intro starting where the business started. So I, around 2006. So what? 13, 13 years ago? That's when, the, um, that's when I decided to, to start the business, the, the assisted living business. Um, the, the story goes, my, uh, my wife's grandmother needed a place you know because she's Hmong and she eats Hmong food and she only speaks Hmong so she couldn't go to a, uh, any other place so we approached the county and they said yeah there's a great need for some facility like that and so we thought about it. we said well then why don't we explore farther and then we hired this um this one lady I mean she was bringing like 10,000 a month per client and this is 13 years ago, and that's huge money. Wow. You yeah. know? And, and so we paid her, you know, $200 yeah. an hour, man. We, we took her out to lunch, paid her <laughs> for $200 an hour just to talk with her, right? And uh -huh. we had to pay for the lunch, too, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we just having ca casual quest, uh, conversation with, with, about the business, what have you. And then the, the one decision that i remember there's a time where I, I i made that decision i still remember distinctly that's that moment when i said let's do it is when i ask her i say hey you know this is our plan we're trying to do this i ask her will i make any money and then she said you will make more money than you know what to do with i'm like really she said yeah so after the meeting, I came home. I said, to "My wife, you're gonna quit your job. We're gonna yeah. budget. Yeah, we're gonna budget our life out. We're gonna. I'm. I'm gonna keep my job. So I, I was making thirty thousand a year, dude. So so my wife was gonna quit her job. So we're gonna live on thirty thousand a year, mortgage, car payment, insurance, two kids. You know. All right. So imagine living on thirty thousand a year, so my wife could do it full time and on the on the side i help her out 
So it, it took us a whole year. You know, we, we basically got rid of cable, <laughs> everything. <laughs> we just had no money to pay the bills, man. The, the like uh, uh, phone bills, electrical. Yeah, you know, just the mortgage. We don't even go out anymore. No more vacation. Nothing. We cut everything. You know. Yeah. And so every penny went to the business, and we spent about forty thousand. <sighs> A whole year, mm-hmm. we, we, we built it for a whole year, and we spent 40000 Finally, one client came in, and then after that, it was just like a ball. The ball just started rolling, and they just yeah. start coming in, and every year, I, I kept adding a new house. Each house has like five rooms in it. So every cool. year, for four years, I put four new houses. So by the fourth year, I had like a four, I had 20 units, right, 20 rooms. Oh, and yeah. and, yeah. and we're we're making good money. I mean, I, I think uh, those four houses, we we net we we gross just a million dollar, and we net around three hundred thousand on it. So um, <laughs> then I'm like, okay, let, let's go bigger, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, but I still didn't know what the hell I was doing, man. I, so <laughs> as long as you're not losing, right? Yeah, as long as you're not man. losing, man. You know, yeah, you're yeah, winning. Yeah. You're like, man, I can't lose. So, so somehow I, I, I got a found a an old grocery store. We bought it for a million dollar. Went and borrowed another million eight. Um, I put in half half a million. I don't know how I found the half a million. I borrowed from people. I I, I took I I took every I, I zero out on my four hundred one k, all my retirement. I even zero out at the retirement from the state. Everything. <laughs> I all my kids' college fund. We zero all that out. Oh yeah, I, 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 I every <laughs> I everything in. I even joke with the uh, with, with the banker. I said, hey. Yeah, yeah. If, if this doesn't go well, you do, you can have the dog too. I'll, I'll give you the <laughs> dog. You can have the dog because I everything. Yeah, somehow, yeah. Somehow I convinced this bank to give me a hundred thousand dollar line of credit uh-huh. by by threatening them to take my my account out if, if they didn't give me the line of credit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I I had like uh, two hundred thousand in the bank, and we we're running a million through the bank a year. Oh so, man! So so I said to the banker, I said, "Dude, I'm 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 only asking a hundred thousand. <laughs> they had a program that says apply for fifty thousand. I apply. That's what I'm said, looking at. <laughs> I know. I apply, and then I said, I want one hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. They said no. Then I uh-huh. said, so I said to the lady, "Fuck, man, I'm gonna take all my money out right now. You give me my hundred thousand. I'm taking every fucking thing out. I mean, I did. I, I swear too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said, "Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get, 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 get. Give me a couple of days. A couple of days later, she said, "Okay, you got your hundred thousand. Was that? Was that? But that's just a hundred thousand line of credit. A line of credit. Yeah. I blew. I blew that in like a week. <laughs> <laughs> I went through that. I wrote that check. Bam. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I need the money. You know." Yeah, yeah. I had to borrow uh, thirty from my brother, thirty from my aunt, and uh, I got lucky. My people bought my artwork, and I used that to pay the last half of the property tax. Yeah, and, and by then the business, when we started the thirty-five unit, we were losing about forty thousand a month, forty thousand dollar a month. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The first couple months. By the sixth month. We we're like losing zero dollars. So, so by six months we made enough, but I had a property tax bill for thirty thousand, and I, I didn't have any money. But the artwork, someone bought the artwork for twenty five thousand, and I was able to use that to pay for the property tax. But by the end of the year, because we opened January first, by December, we we were in a we were positive cash flow. We made more money than we spent out. Yeah, and and within a year we were we were profitable, and then two two years later, uh, I went to the I had a I had lunch you know just a casual lunch with the president yeah uh, of the bank, 
and we're eating salmon, whatever, and, and he's paying for the lunch. And I just casually say to him, hey, you know, you, you see my spreadsheet. You know how much I pay you per month. If you give me two and a half million dollars, I don't want to pay a penny. <laughs> I don't want to pay a penny. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. give me two and a half million dollars, yeah. I will make you, you will double everything you make from me, and I will double everything I make. He looked at me and said, okay. I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> I don't, how, how does that? Because they charge an interest rate. You're just going to say, hey, I'm going to just give you the double the money back yeah. to you? or No, no. Like, okay, I'm paying him 6% every month, right? Okay, yeah. On, on, on the two million, on the two yeah. and a half. So, okay. So when I loan another two and a half, that's five million, right? So I'm okay. paying him 30000 a month. You know what I'm saying? The interest. Okay. So, so he's no thirty thousand a year. What is so it? He, no, it's a no. month. It's monthly. You got paid monthly six percent. Oh That's yeah. That's thirty thousand okay. a month. Because you pay, you always pay the interest first, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, right. So he's he's getting thirty thousand a month from me. Okay. So he's like, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, you know this this guy. He's got his numbers in. He said, yeah, sure. So the guy gave me two and a half million. I double my occupancy from 35 to 69 rooms. Then I didn't make, I, I didn't just make, um, because I have fixed costs. Yeah. So my fixed costs, my management and all that stuff didn't go up the cost. I didn't just make, I didn't double my money. I'm like <laughs> more than triple what I made previously. I'm trying to catch up here. So all this yeah. is within what? Within Four two years. years. Two two years? Yeah. So the first tech so the first the first few okay, months. It is low. The first no, four it's, months, you it were is, like struggling, right? And then no, right after that, it was like game. I was on. making money. Yeah. And two years later, I opened the second phase. Yeah. And we were making like three times what we were making before. <laughs> so so within that so no, you, four times, th not three times, four times. Gee, so we we're in, profiting four times. What made you? What at which point you were you were like, okay, we were losing forty k the first few months. Dude, I bought shit bricks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I know, I never lost forty thousand a month, but I know. But but, but you know, it's not nothing, nothing you can do, right? The okay. ball's in the motion. You just got to make sure you have enough money until you make money. So when you were, when you were breaking even, you were like, all right, it's, this is going to work. I could work. breathe, right? I could breathe right. a little bit. And then you saw that, okay, all right, this has to, we, we have to go all in. That's kind of what, when you were after, I mean. Well, think of this way. This, is, this was my thought process. I had to convince my wife. You know, she didn't want to double everything <laughs> we make. So here's what I said to her. Yeah. I said, look. We already owe the bank two and a half million. Yeah. What's the difference between owing the bank two and a half and five million? It's the same thing. It's yeah, just yeah. a number. Right? <laughs> it's just the same work. <laughs> yeah, I'm still doing the same thing. It's just the number. And I said to her, you know, we don't have to do anything. We just sign a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> the loan document, right? Right, right, right. So instead of owning being in debt two and a half million, now I'm in debt five million, but I'm making four times as much. Come on. It's not in my money. <laughs> I'm just signing piece of paper. Right, right. Within yeah. two years. So damn. The first year was it you said three hundred K, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, that was the small business. The four single family home, we we're making about three hundred. And when we opened the second, the, 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 the 35 unit, we were making, I don't know, four or 500,000. Five, five unit. Yeah. Four or 500,000 per month? No, per year. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. And, and, and then when we double it, we went to like 2 million. Yeah. So you double that. So that became like, you know, 35, like 70? 70 yeah. units? Yeah, yeah. 69. We lost one when we turned that into a hallway. <laughs> yeah. 
But oh, yeah. we more than double the money, right? We want and this is, still with, this is still within two years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Holy cow. Yeah, you did go all in on this. I mean. Well, I mean, I owe the bank money already. Well, <laughs> why not it, own more, right? Was it a big demand? Like, people were just looking for a place to. Oh, yeah. I mean, so we were the market. So we know we, because um, we, you know, we provide good, good services and they were calling us. So we knew what the de- demand was. Okay. So I was able to articulate to the banker and say, look, I can't keep up, man. You know, uh, there's yeah. enough demand out there. <laughs> I'm getting this many phone calls per day and I okay. only have this many rooms and it's all full. So you use that as leverage also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you got to tell a good story. <laughs> yeah. So it's about the story. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a tip yeah. right there. You yeah, gotta, you got to tell gotta, a good story. You got to tell a story. Because I remember yeah. when I walked through with you, you were telling a pretty good story. I was you know? always telling good stories. <laughs> yeah, you got to always tell a good story to bankers. They love good stories. Okay, but the gotcha. story has to make money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so yeah, let's, yeah. let's pause here. Let's pause here for a second. So, so uh, those of you guys, I mean, we have a lot of people on the, on on this live stream here. About damn, 20, how many now? Twenty one right here. There's a lot oh, of comments okay. going on. I have a lot of questions here. So you guys have questions? Just go ahead and type uh, in there. At, type in your questions. Uh, we we got um, Sai 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 Tall. He he does assisted living. living right? Can you can yeah. you tell us what that is? Or, okay, or, okay. So assisted is? living. Basically, is this? I, I built a house. I built like an apartment, um, like a single, like a one room apartment or a um, a dorm kind of type, a studio apartment. Is there a studio or one room, one bedroom? So I built them. Then these elderly people who can't take care of themselves, they come live there. So they pay rent. So they pay me two streams of money. One, they pay the rent. So the rent includes uh, utility and the place to stay. Uh, uh, we take care of the housing for them and the laundry, food, and all that stuff. Then they pay for the service. The service is whatever they need. Let's say they need me to wake them up at five, uh, 6, uh, remind them to take meds, uh, take them to the doctor. Oh. Uh, help them to bathe, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So then they, based on what they need, they pay me that based on what they need. It, it's a, 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 an amount based on need. So, so I, I get paid two streams. And so what I do is the building they live in, I provide the building and then I, I hire uh, personal care attendants, med techs, nurses, and they... They take care of them based on their needs. Okay. And, then, and then if they need to go see the doctor, I arrange the meeting with the doctors. If they need to have operation, you know, basically every, whoever lives in my facility, we take care of everything. The only thing that they might leave the host- or building for is when there's emergency. Uh, they're going for operation. Uh, that's it. We have dentists come in. We have physical therapists come in uh but i don't pay any of those people the client pays them directly so i just organized it okay Uh, i just schedule it you know and you know our facility we have movie we're gonna have a movie theater we have uh, a salon where they could cut hair do their nails but do you you get a certain percentage out of that right Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or like those extra services and stuff like that. Mm-hmm, right? mm-hmm. So every they, ser- every service I get paid. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's part of that second inch stream, right? Yeah. That you go. Yeah. Okay. What's more, what makes the most the the rent, no, the rental the, part or the service part? The the rent is probably enough just to pay the bills, but it's the services that that's gonna make make the money. Gotcha. So 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 you gotta understand the industry to say. Do you need their service? They said they don't. They said, no, you really need it. <laughs> and here's why, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to be able to articulate that. 
And that comes from experience, uh-huh. you know. And, and so, if you're an experienced operator, you, 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 you your service, uh, you will share with them what they need. So, are you like, so are you going to are the other, are the servers coming to you? Say, hey, I can provide a haircut for these guys. No, they- no, I have a salon, and then I, I, I probably work a deal with the the guy who. Yeah. Operates the salon. Okay. Yeah. And I then, built the salon. Gotcha. So for but, them, they get... Yeah. yeah. They, they charge like a regular salon. Okay. So my, so my client doesn't have to leave the facility to get the haircut. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's just all in one. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. Plate. Yeah. But, so, but for the physical therapist, I don't get, a, I, I don't get any fee, uh, payment from them. The only thing I might get from them is I rent a room to them to, okay. to see my client. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Because yeah. they're going to need that no matter what anyways. Yeah. Uh, nothing's yeah. free, right? I'm, I'm not the Salvation Army, you know? <laughs> okay. So, so those of you guys who's joined, you know, thanks for joining. We got a lot of people here. Uh, like I say, comment where you guys are from so we can get an idea of where where you guys are watching us from. Uh, questions, post your comments below. Uh, we got Sa, he's doing assisted living um, and making a lot of money. So uh, if you guys uh, have any questions about it, um, uh, type your questions down. So, um, yeah, so, so what does one room generate as far as income, like, per month? Like, just to... So yeah, yeah. Uh, it all depends on where your facility is located and how nice it is. Um, I think on an average, you're looking at, on the low end, you're looking at about 4,000. Um, maybe average, you're looking at five. I mean, I, I heard of people getting 15, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. A month, a month. This is like, is this gross or is this like cash flow or? No, no, per room per month. It's a gross. Yeah, right? yeah, it is gross. Yeah. Gross. Okay, then, yeah. and then like expense and stuff like that. How does that, you know, so, how do you so look it, at? So it all depends. It all depends on um, how much service you, you're going to, you know? Yeah. Um, it all depends on how much. Uh, if you're serving clients who are wealthy and they pay you a lot, then then you need to provide better service and, and more workers and what have you. Uh, and so, I don't know, low end maybe twenty five hundred it might cost you per per client, and maybe the high end maybe another maybe four thousand. So it's it's all over, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the expense, right? Yeah. Okay, so expense. So, so it depends on how you so, milk that service. So on an average, let's say if you did okay, you might you might be netting thirty percent. Thirty percent of the if you say of the gross. minimum four k, I'll make thirty percent of that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Huh. Okay. But if you know what you're doing. <laughs> I, I heard of people going up to 50, 60, 70 percent net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because of the service, right? Well, you know what you're doing, and your client, <laughs> you have you're a rich client who is willing to pay for those services. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's people with netting 70 percent, man. <laughs> How many of you guys want to know what that is? Let me hear you guys uh, put in something like, Type in his name, Sai, C Y. Let's just see if, if he'll give nah, us one tip. Let's nobody's one tip. <laughs> no, no one, no one's listening, right? <laughs> I want to hear. Them. I want to hear at least one tip from there, huh? They, if you they guys get us, they in. get us. They, 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 they have us on, but they're not listening. Oh, dude, they're listening. Yeah. I mean, come on, we have like twenty-one people here, right here. Yeah, no so, one's typing. I think oh, they yeah. just have an automatic <laughs> on. No one's listening. Uh, let me call them out. So Yang's uh, Yang side two, uh, Joseph representing Florida. Key Chinu, uh, Sai 
Jim, Paul. Hey, guys. Yes. Tony, they, let's see. They, they got it on. They're not listening. <laughs> so if you guys want to know at least one tip that he's talking about, how – let me just – guys, type in his name. I, want, I just want to see if you guys are interested. I, I just want to know one. I mean, you guys – Give me at least at least five sign there. I'll, hopefully he'll give us uh, one tip. <laughs> but all right, so the service is what gets it. The, the The rental part covers pretty much, you know, the room. I mean, yep. when you say dorm, is it like is it like two people can share a particular room, or is it like um, you you can? Yeah, you know, um, and then the the cost for them is a little bit less. But then per room, you make a little bit more because you have dub- double occupancy. But, you know, it, it depends on your client, right? The, the client who has a lot of money, they don't want to share. Gotcha. You know? Yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're willing to pay the high price. Okay. And, and then, the, yeah, the, the client who don't have money, they're, they're okay. You know, they're willing to share and, and maybe pay a little bit less. Gotcha. Gotcha. So it, it's all over. You know, I probably at the end of the day at our new facilities, 10%, 10% of our rooms. So let's say we have 100 rooms, we might leave 10, and those 10 will, will, will do double occupancy. Okay. Where, where people pay a little bit less. Okay. They, then they share. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. So, all right, all right. And that's it. That's the business, right? That's. Yeah, that's that's, it. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you basically take care of them because um, no one's at home or the people at home don't have the skills to take them, take care of them. Or because our staff, we have staff, new staff, fresh staff every all the time, right? So if you're at home, you, you're trying to take care of your mom. 24 yeah. hours you, yeah you yeah you, you're gonna oh it's gonna be tough but oh, okay. if you have a staff who comes in eight hours shift and another one covers them and, and so you keep constantly have new staff all the time yeah then it's easier and and the staff are trained to take care of them so they they know what to do so uh the the individual gets better care um that they actually live longer okay um and a lot of them like it because now they don't have to be dependent on their kids what's you the know? what's the average like the, the age stay, stay uh stay. 18 months until until they go <laughs> they go <laughs> oh man yeah okay so, but, but we had one guy stay like with us, I don't know, since we opened, yeah, uh, six, six, seven years. Uh huh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't get too attached, I guess. Maybe, I mean, no, it, you know, it's <laughs> you know, right? You know, you're gonna get attached, you see him every day, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I met a lot of them and, and you become uh-huh. friends with them, and you know, so, it's, yeah. So when you started, I mean, it was just you taking care of them, right? Is it? No. <laughs> no? No, man. I'd be hired out. Okay, so what, do you, what was your role? I mean, you were, I guess, my role. Was to role. Make, my role was to find more money to fill. <laughs> to, to, to find more location, find more money. Yeah. Yeah, secure the money and keep building. That was my role. Man, that's a change in thought. Because I would think that you would start out. Yeah, you got to be the business guy. So, so, so there's two there's two ways to do it, right? Yeah, I could be really greedy and and build, run, and and work in the yeah. facility. Yeah, and I will take every penny, right? I don't hire anyone out. Uh huh. I'll I'll still be stuck with that one building, or I'll just keep paying people. You know, as as long as I'm making money off of them, yeah, I'll keep paying them, and I and then I keep growing, right? I don't make more money by paying people less or paying less people. I make more money by going bigger. Okay, 
So you know, I free up my time so I could grow bigger. For growing bigger, if you make, it doesn't matter. You make less, right? Yeah. You, yes, I could make more by doing every job. Yeah. Right, but then I can't grow because I'm stuck doing every job. Okay. But if I, but if I hire a lot of the jobs out, and I focus on just growing, then you grow and you keep growing. That's where you make your money is when you grow, not when you squeeze and, and get. I, I, I like to call it some people are greedy and so they squeeze and they do every job. Yeah. But they can't grow because there's only 24 hours in a day. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? I, I know. I know you're saying you just changed my mindset right there because. Yeah. Because my my business, I'm trying to do everything, and you're what you're saying is you growing you you growing wide, but what I think what you're trying to say is you you're growing wide for it to appreciate the business, right? Because it's gonna appreciate the business is gonna appreciate. Right, you make more when you grow bigger. Yeah. Don't don't make more by keeping yourself small. Dude, that's a tip. By right doing there, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that was, that was my philosophy from the beginning. And my yeah. business partner was opposite. You yeah. know, she, she wants us to do everything. I'm like, yeah, we can do everything. And we make 100% off the gross. Uh -huh. But we're stuck at one building. Right, right, right. You know? Well, so how, how can you get your business to grow once you establish... You mean hire out, man? Don't be greedy. Hire. So how do you, I mean? How do you appreciate that? So how do you get to like, you know, as from like a three hundred k income to like I don't know, four hundred k or something, with the same with more. I guess get more room, build bigger, <laughs> right? I see, I see, I see. Go I talk see to the saying. banker and say, "Hey, give me two and a half million, man. I double everything." <laughs> Okay, I see what you're saying. I say so. If you want the four hundred k, you have to go. You know, I don't know. Double your 150, size. One hundred fifty size. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Because you already owe all that money. Who cares if you're gonna owe twice as much? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's that's a that's a mind. I dude, I learned you know? right there. Right there, I just learned that's that's amazing. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my my, my goal is to owe one hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think you already have that already. I mean, don't, uh, don't uh, talk about that. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not there yet. I don't want to make hundred million. I want to owe a hundred million. Oh, to owe? <laughs> yeah, to yeah, owe. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. A different story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I want to say, man, I'm in debt. Hundred million dollar, dude. <laughs> People go, what? This guy's crazy. Hey, but that's a you good know what? thing. That's a good I mean, thing. I yeah. mean, if if I foreclose on a hundred million, there's yeah. no different than I foreclose on my little house for a hundred million, hundred thousand. Yeah. I, both, I get back credit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I right? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but but here's the thing. By the time I foreclose on a hundred million, yeah. I would have stashed away a lot of money, man. <laughs> how, like, if you, when we say 100, how do you leverage that, right? So, like, would that be like 100 million, you actually have 400 million in asset or? No, no, I, I want to owe 100 million. So, maybe my, so there's some projects where I have to put 15% down. Okay, yeah. Some. I figure it out where I built in phases. I end up putting zero percent down. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all it's all yeah, telling yeah. a good story and leverage yeah, yeah. in it. So what what I was saying is like like when you buy like apartment units, right? You put down twenty yeah. percent, right? Yeah. So you put down twenty percent. So if you have a you've got a hundred thousand dollars, you put a hundred thousand dollars, you can leverage a, a four hundred thousand no uh four hundred thousand dollar apartment building. So in 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 this case here, if you're talking about like a like 15%. you want to owe, yeah, eighteen, yeah, somewhere in eighteen. So, okay. so let's say if I owe, let's say if I owe hundred million, if I did do fifteen percent down, I would have 
put my own money of fifteen million in to to leverage that hundred million. Yeah, yeah. But my goal is to put zero <laughs> <laughs> to leverage the whole hundred. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, well, I mean, we'll keep that as a you know as a strategy that you're gonna because I got all these. Okay, so remember how we were saying like teach us one strategy. I think. Everybody's already commented saying size, 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 size. So we got all your name here. There's probably like a 20 people asking, can you give us that one tip, you know, that we we're talking about earlier? Okay, you know? what, what, what tip? What tip? You uh, what was that one tip to make more money, right? How, how to make more money? Yeah, yeah. Just grow some balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I've been telling, I've been giving the, yeah. the answer to that tip the whole time, right? Yeah. You can't be scared. Yeah, you, you know, you, you you could, you 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 can't be scared, you can't be scared in debt. Yeah. As long as the numbers work, right? Let's say I borrow five million dollars. Okay. And and I'm paying the bank thirty thousand a month. Yeah. But do if I'm making half, uh, if I'm making two hundred thousand a month. And I give. I had to give the bank thirty thousand to get yeah. that five million. So yeah, yeah. I do that every day. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's just the yeah. numbers. Yeah. You, you, you know. I, I mean, I'll I'll write that check every day. I mean, you can't be afraid of of paying your bills. Yeah. I think I think the one one thing is the the, the guys who either make it or they don't is they're scared of numbers. Yeah. Well, the, the numbers, more numbers here, the more zeros. Yeah, they get scared. So, yeah. so I, I look at money differently than most people. Mm -hmm. You know, most people they look at money as oh, this green thing that they go to the to the store and they buy stuff with. You, yeah. you know, and, and so it's so precious. They they don't want to they want to keep it all in their pocket, right? Right. But I don't look at money like that. Money to me is, is a tool. Yeah. You know, for example, if, if you are a carpenter and, and you need to build um, a tree house for your kids, yeah. you're going to need nails, <laughs> right? You got to do everything you can yeah. to find nails so you can build a house. Money to me is no different than nails. Yeah. It, it, it's just a tool. Gotcha. Yeah, people don't. So I isolate money from the emotional yeah, yeah. part of, oh, I got a bank full of money and I don't want to lose it. Uh -huh. I'm at a mindset where, damn, if I lose it, fuck, man, I just start over. Just make more. That's it. You know why? Because I started zero, dude. I, I was <laughs> poor, dude. <laughs> my got first you, got job, you. man, my first real job, I made 20000 a year. Uh-huh. As a Jeez. teacher, I'm like, screw oh, that. Man. Forget <laughs> that, man. I ain't no teacher no more. If you stay, you'll probably make 40 now <laughs> or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With a pension. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Right. So we'll, we'll come up of, uh, upon the hour. So let's start answering, answering these questions. So that's good, man. I mean, I, I got a, a lot of knowledge. I mean, dude, you gave me one tip that was amazing. So, um, so what was it? Um, it was grow big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't be because like yeah. Because like like I like I do an Airbnb business, right? And I'm managing it, you know, and you're right. I was there all day today, right? I could have been looking for another deal. I know. Right? Just hire a maintenance man. Yeah. So you know I was there six I hours think, today in the heat. I think <laughs> you got enough. I think you got enough building to hire a part time maintenance man. I do, but it's about, yeah, you're right. It's because I'm like, I don't want to spend that money, right? Yeah, see, like, then you can never grow. Yeah, it's like, even though it's like $150, this for him to come out and maybe like put in a pipe to like screw it in so the pool won't leak. That's $150 to me, you know? No, man, you find a maintenance man that would do it for 15 bucks an hour. <laughs> see, dude, <laughs> dude, that's right there, man. That's like, that's you know? Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, you like I think what you're saying is hire a maintenance guy that would do that would just be there working for you, right? Yeah, that's what you're saying. that yeah. becomes you. Oh man, that's amazing right there. Then then yeah. now you free up your time. Right. To to build. Grow. 
and and it also <laughs> free your mind, right? Right, right. When when, when you don't have to think about uh, fixing that, clogging the toilet, <laughs> right? You think about man, how am I gonna get another two and a half million dollars? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, dude, that was all all. That was on my mind like for a year and a half. Yeah. How am I going to get? I talked to so many bankers. Everyone said no, but finally one said yes. Yeah. I basically said, I want two and a half million dollars. I want to put zero down. <laughs> finally, it's like, one guy, yeah, finally. It was like a, like a credit line or what is that? It's like, you just, no, I just yeah. need money to build. Just oh, send, okay, send just me build. a check so I can okay. double my facility. Yeah. 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 That was on my mind for a year and a half. That's all I did. Okay. Look for that one guy that would say yes. <laughs> okay. And then how long he did it take yes. you to get there? How long did it take you to get there again? It took me uh, about two years. And he, finally, I found one guy say yes. That's all you That's need. That's pretty one. good. Right? Yeah. I mean, two, two years to find 2. like. 2.5 million. Zero yeah. Down. Oh, man. But we were talking, we were, we were talking about earlier. What are you going tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to China. All right. Yeah, What's yeah. the reason why? <laughs> so I'm trying to bring Chinese money over. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the federal government has a program, EB-5. Yeah. So let's say a Chinese investor put in $1.4 million, and, and your project could gross enough jobs uh, or, or could grow enough jobs, then they'll give that Chinese investor a green card overnight. Just, I mean, just a green card. I mean, that's like, dude. If, if that's you're nothing. Chinese and you have hundred million, yeah, who cares? It's a green <laughs> card, dude. Yeah, yeah. To get away, right? Yeah, yeah. Just to be like, just to get in the the country. Yeah. So America is so great. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you got to understand when yeah. when you have that kind of asset, you need an exit strategy. Oh. You need options. Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen the next morning. Oh. You need a place to go. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, okay. They're, they're thinking ahead. They're not thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to lose a million. Yeah. They're thinking, how am I going to save my hundred million? Because you don't net. know. You don't know. Or somebody goes after them, they need the, an exit. No, you just don't know, right? Right. Everyone has yeah. to have an exit. Even in the U.S., a lot of Americans, rich millionaires, they all got exit strategy, man. Oh man, I never even thought about that too. So, yeah. so that's their exit. I see what you're saying. All right, so okay, so we'll move on. All right, yeah, so, yeah. It great. would, it would just blow you away, right? There's no, I much, never thought about that. Too much I things, figured, too much to think about. I would just figure that, okay, you know, America's the safest spot to put all my money in, but for for other people. They're they're throwing that money in. It's going to invest for them, right? And it yeah. also gets them. They get the green card and as an exit strategy. Yeah. So it's like a double win. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they they get to come in. Yeah. So that's it. All right. <clears throat> so we have a lot of questions. Guys, post your questions. Uh, whew, man, we got a lot of questions here. Let me just start with the ones we asked earlier. Uh, so. Ice Yang says, "How did he keep, we already talked about how did he accumulate his wealth?" Uh, saying Angelina says something about wholesale, and then I think you don't know anything about wholesale, right? Mm. I might after my Chinese trip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, two says, "If you had no money right now, what would you, what would you or he do to invest in becoming a millionaire?" So I, I thought about it. You know, I I, I thought. Because right now I, I, I cannot work for anybody. Yeah. Because of where I've been, you know, the journey I've taken. Let's say overnight I lost everything. Yeah. Tomorrow, if I have to, I'll go sell water. I'll go sell water in the street, man. What's, how's that? What's the logic? Uh, I don't want to work for anybody, dude. Oh, okay. I'll work my way back up. Okay. I'll go sell water if I have to. Yeah. I'm not going to go work at McDonald's. <laughs> I'm going to find a way to get bottles of water and sell water. I mean, it's uh -huh. just a, it's just it's a, a metaphor, right? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll find something else to to make money. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just it's just the mentality that you don't Yeah, want? yeah, that, that's just what I right now. Somebody telling you what to do, so is that Right. Because okay. I know if I go work for somebody, I'll get fired the first day because I'll tell the boss. I said, "Dude, you don't know what you're doing. This is how you <laughs> should be doing this." He'll fire me for sure. <laughs> so, so I'm just at that mentality. Even if I have nothing, I'll find a way to sell things. Okay. You buy cheap, you mark it up, sell it. So simple. Gotcha. So two, there you go. He, he's saying, you know, figure out actually, a way to sell stuff. Actually, I I taught a kid. He worked for me, and instead of paying him, yeah. I went to the to Home Depot and I bought him a pallet of water. <laughs> I said, dude, I'm not paying you. Well, I got yeah, you yeah. a pallet of water. And it was during the 4th of July. And I said, <laughs> if, if you sell this pallet of water, because I was going to pay him 50 bucks. What was, he, wait, what, what was the job? What was the he, job? Just, he just dig a, a couple of holes for me to do fence. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so instead of getting 50 bucks, I bought him a pallet of water. And I said, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take it to the 4th of July because, yeah. because, and you're just going to walk around and sell it because you yeah. don't need a vendor license, whatever. Okay. Because you're going to put it in the back of your truck. Yeah. And just walk around with bottle and sell bottle, right? <laughs> that year he made about three, $300. Yeah, yeah. His first year. Yeah. Then he finally, the second year, he finally figured out what I was teaching him. Okay. And so his second year, he didn't sell anymore. <laughs> he got he got truck loads of water. Yeah. He made his friend sell it for him. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh man. He made so much money, man. Oh man, man. Oh no, man, finally you, he yeah. was doing so well, they banned him. They said, dude, you can't sell water yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because all the other vendors are losing money. Yeah. Just for because he took the water and walked up to the people instead of the people coming to the Yeah, yeah. To the booth. He That's just it. went and said, Here, here's there. a dollar. It's the same price as the booth. But I'm yeah. coming to you. Right. So I taught that kid something really valuable. Yeah. Yeah. So, so instead of paying instead of paying him fifty dollars, he you gave him you he dug your hole and then you made him do extra work and he got like what is it, like three or four times the amount of money? <laughs> oh yeah. And he loved it. He loved it. And and he grew and he, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So cool. so that, that was that's why I said if I didn't have anything, I'll go sell water. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's the logic, guy. That's the logic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Be uh yeah, be smart, figure things out like that. Um okay, so the next one. Uh it was uh says when did you realize that you had that you was on the right path? I guess that doesn't if you're making money, you know you know you're on the right path, right? Mm. Mm. I don't know. You know, I um I never thought about that. I I have always been a guy that if I want to do something, I just try to I figure it out. And um, one uh, difference between me and maybe other guys is I don't quit. Ooh. Y- yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, one time, I'll tell you a story. I was a sophomore in high school, right? Yeah. And I joined the wrestling team. And <laughs> it was tough, you know? Um, my parents didn't support. I, I had to take the bus to go wrestle. I didn't have support, didn't have money to buy the equipment, whatever. And I wasn't really good. So I quit. Yeah. Half season through, I just quit. Man, <laughs> I feel so bad. My, I never yeah. felt so bad in my life. Because I quit. I didn't care about the team. It was me. I quit on myself. Yeah. So from that point on, I made a point in my life. I said, you know what? I'm never going to quit. Yeah. If it gets tough. I know when to stop. When I know I'm gonna lose, that's mm-hmm. different. But I won't quit because it's tough. Yeah. So I made that point not to quit. 
Um, and that's how I go about my business is I don't quit, man. Yeah. Even if, even if I was losing 60000 a month, yeah. I'll figure a way. I'll figure a way to, uh, yeah. to turn that profitable. Yeah. You know? And, and so um, if you have that in you, you, you'll go far, you know? Be successful that way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I see think, that. I, yeah, I think a lot of people who are successful, they don't quit. They don't yeah. quit easily, uh-huh. right? And not many people could scare them to quit. Yeah. So, so that's one. Um, the second piece is your knowledge. If you know stuff, then you're not scared. You're not scared of doing things. Huh, yeah. You know, if you don't know the laws, you don't know the rules, then you get scared and, you, and you're afraid to explore. But if you know the laws and the rules in your business, then you know what to do, what not to do, and so you're not scared anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just, I mean, just learn what you're scared of. Yeah, just, know what you're scared of and just take care of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. All right, so uh, I that didn't answer that guy's question, but I don't know. I, I hope it helps. Kind of. I mean, yeah. kind of makes sense, and that's a good tip right there. Um, how do you bla- balance work and time with wife and <laughs> family? <laughs> uh, you know, since I started my business, I'm able to take my kids to school every morning, and I enjoy doing it. Uh, my wife and I, we work. We work, uh, we're, we're a team, so we're always with each other. Um, I, I, if, if, I, if I don't want to feel like working today, I just tell my wife, hey, let's go have lunch. And we just go, and, you know. And, <laughs> I mean, the, nice. some, yeah. yeah, some of the best times for me was just picking my kids up from school or drop them off. I look forward to stuff like that. Okay. You know, not, not, not many parents, because a lot of parents, mm. they work so hard, they do nine to five. They don't have time. So when I, ha- I have the time, and, and I make it out of my schedule to, to do that stuff. Yeah. And so I, uh, biz- doing business has allowed me to spend a lot of time with my kids and my family. Um, so I think, you know, that I'm very fortunate I was able to do that. When, when they're growing up. Okay. Because, you know, doing your own business gives you that flexibility. Yeah. That's but at right. the same time, I work until 2, 3 in the mornings, too. You know? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So you sell water, you be on your own time. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, uh, Yi says, what... Do you know now that you wish you would known five to ten years ago? What would you do? What do you know now that you wish you would have known five to ten? Yeah, I, I guess. Does that you, make sense? You know, yeah, yeah, it does. Um, I, and I'm trying to think. Right now, I'm I'm very I'm well connected to the a lot of the people who finance my projects or projects yeah. like mine. So I wish I uh, pursued those people more. Um, or I wish I knew them maybe 10 years ago, even yeah. though I couldn't afford or they won't even work with me. At least I wish I knew the products that they provide or, or the loans that they have. It, then, then maybe I would have grew a lot faster. You know, and so the resources I have now, I wish I had it 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. That, so it's kind of like saying, like, network, right? You got to network yeah, yeah. the right people. You got to hang around the right people to, you know, like, like I always tell people, you know, you hang around bad people, you know, you do bad things, right? You do, you hang around good people, you do good stuff. So yeah. what you're yeah. saying is hang around the guys that will, that will take you places. Yeah. I, I think, it, I think if I, uh, I think if I hang out around other, 
uh, assisted living developer more instead of just doing it by myself. Maybe if I got connected with them, maybe they might have connected me to the people who offer those programs or those loans, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I mean, I, I eventually found them or they found me. When, when you know, they, they they'll find you when you know that you're gonna yeah, yeah. get money for them. But I wish I found them earlier. Yeah, yeah. Instead of so waiting it, them to find me. So it's kind of saying if you want if you want money, hang around people with money. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, well, yeah. people who know people with money. Yeah, you know. yeah, right. And then you know they will know that oh this guy offered this maybe talk to that guy, you know? Yeah. And so if, if I hang around with other developers or other people who build stuff and they have access to those long guys who give out loan, I would have, uh -huh. I think I would have gone a little, grew a little bit faster. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so man. resources, you know, go to your resources, find your resource fast. Find out what, yeah. I guess, find out what you want to do. And then hang around the people that could could help you, right? Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Whew. Um, man, we just got so many questions here, but we're kind of running out of time here. Um. Oh yeah, let's talk about the cruise, man. Yeah, yeah. So let's yeah. let's talk about what, what's going on, what you got going on. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people reached out to you, and then um, I kind of relay the information to you. Um, but but I'll let you announce it. Okay, okay. So, so, so if, if you want to not just watch me and Chai on, <laughs> on Facebook and you want to yeah. talk to us live, yeah. here's your chance. It's not expensive. It's your chance. So Chai and I were throwing a party with my song, and she's going to sing for you. It's 60 bucks. You get free dinner, uh, free drinks, cruise, in the ocean in Florida, Tampa, Florida, on uh, December 20th, 20th. Uh, the day before the Hmong New Year. So after your, our event, you could go to the New Year the next day, right? So to, to, get, the, to get the tickets, go to myxiong, M-A-I-V-X-Y-O-O-J.com. Go there. You could buy your ticket. And, and that... That's just if you want to hang out with me and Chai on the boat. You probably get about three hours, three good hours, right? It's, it's two and a half hours, yeah. Of just, yeah uh, three and a half hours. Two and a half hours, yeah. Yeah, just, we like, can hang out. Dinner, so, um, drinks. Yeah, so there's many things to do. You could just eat. You could stay on one floor, just eat. You could be on the second floor and dance while my, my Xiong sang or go to the top floor and smoke cigars with me and Chai. And we could talk business, I don't right? <laughs> yeah. Right? So, so there's that. And then if you're a high roller, if you're a baller, right, and you want a lot of times with me and Chai, then here's what you do. Fork up 500 bucks. Chai will teach, Chai and Brian, they will teach you how to do vacation rentals. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of the hottest industry right now. You know, you could turn a house and, and, and make hundred. Uh, I don't know. Child makes you make thirty thousand a year on one house. Profit more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, there's no industry yeah. where they loan you the money to build yeah. your business. You know, so Chai is gonna teach you that, and then that's on Thursday, and then Friday, the uh, the morning before the cruise. We're going to go more in-depth into assisted living. And, and, and we'll, we will do it in my facility, the, the, the facility that I built. We're, we're about, we're just, we just got done. We're about to open. Um, we're going to get our license in a couple of weeks, and we're going to open. Um, and so by the time you get there, it should be open, and we should have a lot of clients in there. And so uh, you get to tour the facility, and you get to see, you know, everything that I'd done to, to build it. And, I, and then I'll talk about the whole process, getting the loans, um, getting it built, 
stacking up with people, and then the best part, selling it. Doubling your money, man. So selling is what you're saying. Selling is that's how you double your money. That's so that's how no, you. Be- I'm, I'm I'm just joking. It's not <laughs> doubling your money. It's yeah, three, yeah, yeah. Four times your money. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not doubling your money. It's multiplying your money, which is what oh, we talk. Oh, unbelievable! <laughs> but I, I ain't gonna tell you that right now. Yeah. If you wanna know what but that number is, you gotta come. So yeah, so there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of moving parts to what you know size business is. Um, like I said, like uh, he's saying, that I did get a lot of people reaching out, and uh, I was going to teach you this course, and then uh, Sai's mentioned that too. So we're going to make this together, and then so we're going to do a Airbnb educational course along with a assisted living course, and then we we end the night with the party with my show with my show a concert on a boat. <clears throat> we get to chill with each other networking right because you yeah. heard about networking so i might give you his contact show you how to yeah you know show you his finance guys that can pull make you know money or how he's going i mean i, I don't know how are you going to china to get these people to give you money right so i mean how do you do that and side knows how to do it so you gotta you gotta network with the right people to to you know to get these ideas right so i mean there's nothing else to this. I mean, it's it's the who you know, right, Sai? Yeah. I, hey, man, it's who you know. You got to tell a good story. And then most importantly, after that, you better be able to produce. Yeah. You know, if you're able to produce and, and you bring in the money, yeah, people will want to hang out with you and make your business grow. Because if you grow, they grow with you. Yeah. Er- everyone makes money together. You Like, like my... My my mentor also say like you make you show somebody how to make money they become your best friend for life. Right? Oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. So 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 these courses you know that we're gonna teach is gonna we're gonna teach how to how to find deals right like like I'll show you how to find an Airbnb deal. Sai's so gonna show you how to you know how to start a deal yeah. like a, a living deal and then how to go through the motions how to finance. I'll put the whole deal together. I'll put the whole deal together. Yeah. Uh, and then how to sell it. Uh, for me, I'm just going to show you how to find a deal, how to, you know, how to manage your deal and stuff like that. And that's it, man. And then we, we all party afterwards. And I guess we, we have, we'll build friendship for life. And yeah. um, so those of you guys are interested, putting your email below in the comments, just type in your email. We'll reach out to you guys. I mean, the tickets are 500 bucks, you know, uh, couples right so if you come as a couple you you same both price. Come, yeah same price and then and hey, you, hey, but but do we give two tickets to my show what do you think this is I, this is you. I think they just i think they just get one ticket to my show and if the wife wants or the husband wants to go to my show later so so 500 they get they get the two seminar and one ticket to my show okay and then if they want the second ticket, they'll have to pay another 60 bucks. Okay, yeah. All right, we'll do that. Yeah, but the seminar, the wife and the husband could both attend for the same price. Gotcha. And just yeah. let you guys know, Sai teaches this course for like 20000 right? <laughs> uh, I thought about not doing it for twenty because, I don't know, I, I don't need the money, right? But Yeah, he, he was saying that know. just to get people to go away. Right? Was that kind of? Yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't. He wants to enjoy life right now. I, I think you just got back from like a elk trip or something. You know, uh, I already went a, a trip in between already. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's going to China. Like this is yeah. all within like the last few weeks. You know, yeah, three trips in three weeks. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is, you know. So, I mean, so, it's not all fun. You yeah. know, it's uh-huh. all to to make connections. Or to put the wheels in motion yeah. for the next deal, right? Yeah. So, gotcha. So yeah, yeah, you yeah. come, you come, you you learn a little bit. You might not learn all of it, but you get an idea, and then you can learn. <clears throat> you can network with him, get his uh, his connections. You know, yeah, you can all... pick my brains, right? Yeah, and then um, you know, and have some fun. I mean, it is Christmas that weekend, um, and then. Um, 
but it's mostly networking, right? So it's you know, right. like like I think we said, if you uh, if you want money, you hang around money or people with money. So right. and um, and if you don't want to do the seminar, you just want to hang out with me and Chai and listen to my Xiong sing. You know, sixty yeah. bucks a person uh, gets you on the boat. You know, you get a nice dinner, all the drinks you want to drink, and then you get to hang out with me and Chai, and you can pick our brains for three hours. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, I know there's a lot of questions. Uh, when Sai has time, when he's at, he's sitting at the airport, maybe he'll come yeah. and answer them all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I could go on Facebook and then answer them. Yeah, yeah. You'll see yeah, that. Yeah. On, you'll see that. You'll see that later on your Okay, uh, I'll type your, it. I'll type it. I'll, yeah, I'll type so, it on my phone. I mean, there's like, there's over 100 people watching this. Already, and then there's Damn. so many comments. There's Damn, so many Chai. comments. Chai, you know uh, you're, you're the man. You're, you're the man. People want, to, people want to be a millionaire. This is how you guys man. become a millionaire. You started, we started out with what? I think you, I forgot, man. You, I forgot. 20,000. 20, 20,000, and now 300K per year, and then now. No, 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 no. no. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. I'm saying 20,000, 300K, and then went to 500K. And I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. What you two say. mil. A year? Two days. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I, if I were you guys, I'll, I'll come down and connect. Just, you know, final bucks. That's just knowledge. Just to get, you know, info. But I'm going. <laughs> so, so, thank you guys for joining. Thank you, Sai, for uh, doing this. I mean, I mean, I know we're promoting the boat trip too, but I know people. This is also about learning how to double make your money too. So thanks for uh, giving us some uh, tip there. I learn a lot. I mean, I'm gonna scale up. I'm not gonna manage my stuff anymore after this. So there you go, man. No, <laughs> no more video of you cleaning the toilet, dude. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe video of you signing paper. Paper. <laughs> signing paper. Signing <laughs> paper. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. So good night, guys. Um, thanks, you guys, for watching Mo Hustlers. Thanks, Sai, right, for being man. a hustler. All right. All see right. you guys. All right, Chai. See you later.